Hi there. Alma chapter 56, continuing, starting with verse 31. Verse 31. And we were to march near the city of Antipara, as if we were going to the city beyond, in the borders by the seashore. And it came to pass that we did march forth, as if with our provisions, to go to that city. And it came to pass that Antipas did march forth with a part of his army, leaving the remainder to maintain the city. But he did not march forth until I had gone forth with my little army and came near the city Antipara. And now in this city Antipara were stationed the strongest army of the Lamanites, yea, the most numerous. And it came to pass that when they had been informed by their spies, they came forth with their army and marched against us. And it came to pass that we did flee before them northward, and thus we did lead away the most powerful army of the Lamanites, yea, even to a considerable distance, insomuch that when they saw the army of Antipas pursuing them with their might, they did not turn to the right nor to the left, but pursued their march in a straight course after us, and as we suppose, it was their intent to slay us before Antipas should overtake them, and this, that they might not be surrounded by our people. And now Antipas, beholding our danger, did speed the march of his army. But behold, it was night, therefore they did not overtake us, neither did Antipas overtake them. Therefore we did camp for the night. And it came to pass that before the dawn of the morning, behold, the Lamanites were pursuing us. Now we were not sufficiently strong to contend with them. Yea, I would not suffer that my little sons should fall into their hands. Therefore we did continue our march. And we took our march into the wilderness. Now they durst not turn to the right nor to the left, lest they should be surrounded. Neither would I turn to the right nor to the left, lest they should overtake me. And we could not stand against them, but be slain. And they would make their escape. And thus we did flee all that day into the wilderness, even until it was dark. And it came to pass that again, when the light of the morning came, we saw the Lamanites upon us, and we did flee before them. But it came to pass that they did not pursue us far before they halted, and it was in the morning of the third day of the seventh month. And now, whether they were taken by Antipas, we knew not. But I said unto my men, Behold, we know not, but they have halted for the purpose that we should come against them, that they might catch us in their snare. Therefore, what say ye, my sons? Will ye go against them to battle? And now I say unto you, my beloved brother Moroni, that never had I seen so great courage, nay, not amongst all the Nephites, for as I had ever called them my sons, for all, they all were very, all of them were very young. Even so they said unto, the, unto me, Father, behold, our God is with us, and he will not suffer that we should fall. Then let us go forth. We would not slay our brethren if they would let us alone. Therefore let us go, lest they should overpower the army of Antipas. Now they never had fought, yet they did not fear death, and they did think more upon the liberty of their fathers than they did upon their lives. Yea, they had taught, been, their been taught by their mothers that if they did not doubt, God would deliver them. And they rehearsed unto me the words of their mothers, saying, We do not doubt our mothers knew it. And it came to pass that I did return with my two thousand against these Lamanites who had pursued us. And now, behold, the armies of Antipas had overtaken them, and a terrible battle had commenced. The army of Antipas, being weary because of their long march in so short a space of time, were about to fall into the hands of the Lamanites. And had I not returned with my two thousand, they would have obtained their purpose. For Antipas had fallen by the sword and many of his leaders, because of their weariness, which was occasioned by the speed of their march. Therefore the men of Antipas, being confused because of the fall of their leaders, began to give way before the Lamanites. And it came to pass that the Lamanites took courage and began to pursue them. And thus were the Lamanites pursuing them with great vigor when Helaman came upon their rear with his two thousand and began to slay them exceedingly, insomuch that the whole army of the Lamanites halted and turned upon Helaman. Now when the people of Antipas saw that the Lamanites had turned them about, they gathered together their men and came again upon the rear of the Lamanites. 
And now it came to pass that we, the people of Nephi, the people of Antipas, and I with my two thousand, did surround the Lamanites and did slay them, yea, insomuch that they were compelled to deliver up their weapons of war and also themselves as prisoners of war. And now it came to pass that when they had surrendered themselves up unto us, behold, I numbered those young men who had fought with me, fearing lest there were many of them slain. But behold, to my great joy, there had not one soul of them fallen to the earth, yea, and they had fought as if with the strength of God. Yea, never were men known to have fought with such miraculous strength, and with such mighty power did they fall upon the Lamanites, that they did frighten them, and for this cause did the Lamanites deliver themselves up as prisoners of war. And as we had no place for our prisoners, that we could guard them to keep them from the armies of the Lamanites. Therefore we sent them to the land of Zarahemla, and a part of those men who were not slain of Antipas with them. And the remainder I took and joined them to my stripling Ammonites, and took our march back to the city of Judea.